When you first come here, probably the very first thing we ever ask you to do is to open inside. To open inside. Should we say, try to open inside and feel something deeper in yourself. Feel what you are deeper than your body. And feel what you are deeper than your mind. Thank God there's something deeper than our minds. Most people forget about that completely and end up getting caught up in the breathing and getting caught up in what we can and can't do in class and what happens and what doesn't happen and, and who's doing it and who's not doing it and there's just a whole world of utter superficialities and trivialities that people get tangled up in that have nothing to do with anything at all and, es and especially nothing to do with beginning to understand what it means how simple but how utterly essential it is that we begin to train ourselves to open inside. Most people, you know, bring a whole set of tensions to their life and a whole set of fears and anxieties. And they bring it to the world, which is not a really that nice of a place. And the world immediately dumps, you know, 200 pounds of shit on that person, on each of us, until we're basically flat like a pancake and totally compressed. And, you know, the world has it, a, a unique way of doing that for each of us. <clears throat> and then, Possessed by our fears and anxieties, we pretend that we know everything and fear that we know nothing and we live a life, you know, of pursuing the most superficial aspects of human experience. and never even ever consider the, you know, the need, the simple doorway that is available to us to transcend all that total insanity and begin to find within ourselves that transcendence which is completely rich and totally beautiful and, and vibrant with potentiality. All of us, every human being, wants love and needs love in order to live. But in order to, to have any love in our life at all, we first have to find that in ourselves. If we don't have it in ourselves, where are we going to, how are we going to find it? And if we ever found it in somebody else, how are we going to hold that? How is it going to like, you know, how are we going to be able to stay connected to that when in ourselves we are closed like a rock? We don't. We need love in our lives. We need to find a way to get beyond our fears and to get beyond our judgments, which are all stupid. Every bit of it is stupid, stupid, stupid. It's stupid. I'm 66 years old. I've been doing this 40 some years. I can tell you it is stupid. And I could go on about it, but I'm not. Just forget about it. until you can really open in yourself and, and have 
developed in you the discrimination to taste, to feel, to, to intuit more deeply, from a deeper place within yourself, the, the qualities and the circumstances of the situations that feel, fill your life, everything you think about it is totally wrong. So, it's really important for you to think about what it means to open inside. Because opening inside is going to allow you to take your experiences, the experiences that fill your life and the love that, that might happen in your life and bring it to a place in you beyond all the tension and pollution. So that that nourishment can actually reach some place inside you that has some life that will respond to life. And opening inside, you will create the space for your own life to start to rise up and express itself in creative ways that totally transcend the limitations of your circumstance, your birth, your parents, your genetics, your karma. And that life will begin to show you. But it starts with learning, with, with understanding, and then training yourself to open inside. And You'd li I know you'd like me to, exp maybe, you know, we'll, I can get questions about, well, what does that mean more deeply? You know, you're just going to have to take those words and work them. You're going to have to take those words and, and relate it to your heart and relate it to your soul and relate it to love, and you're going to have to, like, work it until you figure it out, because you can. And if you keep, if you work it out and you keep opening inside, you will have to work it out again and again and again and again because as you grow, more of you is going to become accessible to your awareness. You are going to understand that you are much bigger and much more, you know, potent than you ever could have imagined and you're going to have to rethink what it means to open inside, you know, every year for the rest of your life. And wouldn't that just be fantastic if you, if you could do that? I mean, how many people go through their whole lives rediscovering their life and rediscovering being alive for the duration? Most people are alive till they're 26 or so, they figure it all out, understand it all, got it wired, have the angles, <laughs> and basically become permanently constipated. I suppose I sh that's the first effect of, of opening inside is that we will become psychically unconstipated. Opening inside you will discover the part of you that is really big, that is bigger than your problems, that's bigger than all your needs, your job, your it's bigger than relationship, it's bigger than everything. It's you and life in you. And to begin to discover that and to breathe into it and, uh, and allow the life in you to come alive and express itself will expose you to a richness in you and in life that is really, truly, truly, profoundly beautiful and extraordinary. This simple, simple, Practice This simple effort takes me exactly half a second to open inside. 
A lot of people have never done that in their own entire life. And you know, when you're first getting going, it may take you a whole day. But understanding that simple thing, which we've been saying forever, I mean, since like 1971 in New York and Bloomington, Indiana, and, and, and all over the place, you know, it's still a very, very simple condition, open inside, that is so rarely deeply understood. You know, Andre, it's like the difference between going into a performance with the dance you're going to do in your mind and doing that, and going into the performance confident that you've mastered the dance so that you can forget about it and just feel the flow of the energy happening in you as you go through the movements that you have already trained yourself to. And, and the effect the experience and the effect are two different dimensions. Open inside. It's so simple and so unbelievably powerful. I hope you'll think about that a little bit and try to understand it. If you understand open inside, you have just saved your own ass. Namaste.